Congratulations on the series, though. Emmy winning series now. Woo! Yes. Feels, Woo! Good. Feels good. Thank and you. The, Thank uh, you. First question is for Hillary. Season two is pretty crazy of what I've seen thus far. Where do we find Sophie this time around? Spinning out into a lying, lying liar. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think you you find this poor girl who's just like, Dating is taking her down, right? And she's a little like heart sick and she doesn't have an income. She has a strong like friend circle, which I think is just the most beautiful thing about this show is just, Chris, you said it earlier, like to remind people how important it is to like hug and love and yeah. lean on each other. That's the best thing that she has going for her is her friend group. Um, but, you know, the, it's complicated and the, the, the web is like a tangly one with, with Jesse. And I think that's kind of what starts out the lies in the beginning of her just not telling the truth and, and being a version of herself that she probably doesn't even quite know, you know, mm -hmm. so that's kind of where we find her. Chris, let's talk about Jesse. He's back with Meredith. Uh, I have like the sweat face emoji when I say that. What is it <laughs> like this season? Um, I mean, selfishly, as an actor, I love the opportunity to work with Leighton again, just because she's so fun and, and was such a great get for our show. And, and I just loved working with her. Um, as... as <clears throat> In addition to the rest of the cast. <laughs> yes. um, but no, it was more just like, I'm glad that we had an opportunity to kind of explore that relationship, however fraught and decrepit it might be. It's kind of fun to see how toxic it gets. Um, and I think also, you know, I think for me, I, I got to have a bunch of really wild, funny, unexpected um, dating stories, um, you know, both both Sophie and Ellen are in these established relationships. Um, I guess not, no, I guess you, well, you have a couple, I can't tell you too much. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, it was- it you, was, you almost got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, almost I got almost it. Was that was like fully <laughs> just like, oh, there's this and this. Um, no, it was really fun to kind of be um, sort of a lost, uh, Jesse really also gets to go on this kind of uh, lost dating journey full of hijinks. That was a lot of fun, it was a lot of fun. For Ellen as well, Ellen, you're finding love this season. So, Tian, what was it like to ha explore that awkward romantic journey? I love it so much, though. I'm so oh, happy. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm very excited for Ellen um, to finally have a relationship. The girl just like swings from one monogamous relationship to another. Uh, but she, <laughs> but I, I think it's so fun for her. She. Ellen is still like very passionate and sometimes can be a bit like to me unhinged and just says whatever she's thinking. But I love that out of the friend group, she becomes the one that has like the most stable relationship, yes. maybe the most stable job mm -hmm. and is going to therapy and is like trying to get her shit together. And so for her to be able to be in this place where she can be there for her friends and be there for her brother, um, as well as for her, her new girlfriend is a very exciting place. Yes, we love to see her unhinged, but also organized chaos <laughs> happening. <We're seeing> <laughs> Look at this next question for you. I know everyone's question is, who is the father? I know you don't know, yeah. but what is your theory right this moment? <gasps> oh my God. Right this moment? Wow. <laughs> Oh okay, so this okay. was like hot goss, like around. Wait, did you ask me or did you ask her? Oh, I'll. I have no idea. Go ahead. Oh me. Uh, I, I, I. The first season, we were all like, okay, "This happened, so it must be this person." Now we don't even speak about it anymore. Yes. Yeah. So I really don't know, but what? Like, I would love for it to be Josh Peck. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Say, I mean, Josh, really Josh up in the air. Like, yeah. He, he's sort of the unspoken seventh cast member of our show. Yes, Anytime yes. Josh is on the show, I think. All of us want Josh to be the father. Yeah. Um, just well, we've got we to, we've got to like take him down a, a notch. Like, yeah. Some of his lines this season, uh, I was uh, like, he, 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 the stuff they give him outrageous. is so to find a way outrageous. To forgive you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Outrageous is the right word. Yeah. Like off the rails, that character. <laughs> well, I think so. Is Sophie. Yes. Yeah, everyone we is. We all are. We all go freaking bananas this yeah. season. Well, congratulations on this season. The last How I Met Your Mother series lasted a decade, so you know, fingers crossed. Woo! Woo! What, eight more years? Congratulations, yeah. you guys. Oh I'm down. Yeah, sounds awesome. I'm in. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, guys, can you hear me? Hi. 
Hi, congratulations on season two, an Emmy winning series now at this point. I want to start with Francia. Uh, where do we find Valentina this season? Oh man, where don't we find her? <laughs> uh, Valentina, I mean, listen, she's going through a breakup. Proud of her because she's putting herself back out there. Um, I mean, I don't think she had to do it in front of you, but you know, uh, just so you know, yeah. just so you know, she is still desired. She still got it. Um, but yeah, she's just going through her cycle of dating and now focusing on work and really trying to figure out her life. I think it was a big revelation for her to understand that she truly does want a family. And especially now that she's met someone that she loves and doesn't, and he, you know, doesn't want the same things. I think it really put her into a situation where she has to really discover herself as this young woman that she's turning into. And it's interesting because I think in her mind, she knows Charlie is endgame. So Tom, things are getting really messy between the two as they're still friends, but they still have this really unique chemistry and he's moving on. What's going on with him this season? Honestly, if you think it's messy now, um, just wait. It's, uh, it, only, it only gets worse. Um, we're very much seeing Charlie starting a new phase of his life. He doesn't have the safety net of his home um, anymore. He doesn't have the safety net of the relationship, which was the reason that, that he moved uh, to the States. And so we're seeing him forced to form these new connections and these new relationships within the friend group. Um, he can't sort of rely on, on Valentina to be his little home base anymore. He's got to go out and- That's his fault. And yeah and make a new home. And Siraj, you guys are sitting within the bar set right now. What is going on with Sid this season? Um, Sid's trying to figure out long distance and at the same time figuring out how to be a good friend to all these people who keep messing up. They keep messing up and Sid's like, guys, 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 come on now. Um, and it's been a blast. Honestly, I feel like you'll be very surprised how things go with Sid. Yeah. I mean, you're all scene stealers, but you are so funny, Siraj, in this character. I told you. Mm -hmm. what I told happening? you. I told you. Thank you. Yeah, you, I mean, you all are. I really love your chemistry as an ensemble, but what was it like to film in front of a live studio audience for the finale? Did the jokes land? Was it nerve wracking? What was that experience like? Well, I said this just a second. It was the most epic thing ever. There's never been a moment more so than this where the team has felt like the most unified in sync team. All of us leveled up because of the audience. I was saying that if this TV show is like a conversation, right? One of the main people who were involved in this conversation were finally in the room, which was the mm -hmm. audience. And reacted, reacting to them, feeling their laugh, feeling the journey we're going on within them. Yeah. really, really hook us somewhere else. And both their scenes in there, you watch, and these two slayed out. It's It was the best. I'm not surprised. Like I said, you're all so good and so good together. So I'm glad to hear that. Maybe we'll see more episodes filmed that way. Oh. Uh, last question. This one's for all of you. I know you don't know who the father is, but who is your theory at this point? Who do you think the dad in How I Met Your Father is? I'll give my theory for when I first booked it. When Hillary called me to congratulate me, the first thing I said was, I think Sid's the father. That was a, that was my first theory. Now people are gonna run with that. No, no, no. I'm just saying now I I I I I I take it back. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, Tom. Well, I no. think is I think it's it probably matters what I think, honestly, but I think it's I think it's. No, you don't. I think, wow. No, it's we're not having conversation. I think it's not who you think it is. I think it's all. who we think mm. it is. Uh huh. It could um, be red herring, someone we haven't met yet. Who knows? All oh, right, yeah. but you know what? You brought this up that um, Kim had mentioned that um, Sophie killed all. I mean, not killed. Kiss. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I've been watching The Last of Us. Uh, kiss. <laughs> um, all of the guys, which uh, that kind of flew over my all head. So now, like. She said. Okay. Yeah. Just well, I also feel like Drew is a strong contender. Mm. Yeah. They won't tell us. No, we don't they know. Won't tell us. Mm -mm. We'll have to wait and see. Potentially another decade of this series, the way you guys. Oh, yeah. That's what we're hoping for. Oh yeah. Well, I'm hoping for it too. Congratulations again. Thank you for your time and uh, watching The Last of Us with you this weekend. Yeah. <laughs>